Hello and welcome back to CAD CAM CA Learning Solutions YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will see how to create anchor bracket in Katia part design. Alright, so go to start, mechanical design, select part design. Now you can apply the name here. So anchor bracket and OK. Now, first of all, we need to see total dimensions all right so 140 is center to center distance between circle and slot next now you can see two circles here so first circle diameter is 51 and second circle you can see different diameters here so 31.72 and 31.75 so the difference is because of the tolerance value we can take the average of these values or you can simply just select one of these values okay we will start with the circular part okay so first of all you can select these planes so in katia you can see three planes all right x y is your top plane y z is your fr front plane and z x is your right plane okay so i'm selecting front plane that is y z plane select sketch now i'm only creating a single circle here okay we can uh, we can use the whole command for this inner circle all right select circle next we need to apply dimensions to it so dimensions and diameter value is 51 all right then exit now the total extruded pad length is given here okay so it's 44 select pad select sketch and you can apply directly 44 here okay but you can see now it's only extruding in single direction i need this part to extrude in both directions all right because i need need this center part here okay so you can use mirror extent okay and apply half dimensions that is 22 so the total pad length will be 44 okay the first base is created here all right next now we can create this slot okay now the slot we have a direct slot, slot command available in katia now we can see that the slots end surface and the circles end surface are in line okay so select back face then sketch all right now you need to create slot on right direction okay if you want to create it in left direction just reverse all right and now you can create the slot in left direction okay just look at the arrow here okay so you can reverse the direction by using this normal to tool all right now in rectangle drop down you can see slot here just simply create two slots and now you can add the dimensions to both of them okay the outer slot the radius 20 is given so double click and the radius is 20 okay for inner slot the diameter is 12 okay so radius will be 6 all right now next center to center distance is 140 the slot center from circle center is 140 millimeters away okay so select dimensions select vertical axis select center and you can apply 140 here okay now slots axis length is given 50 millimeters okay so again select dimensions select axis and you can apply 50 millimeters okay now the sketch is complete again exit workbench select sketch select pad and apply the dimensions now it's extruding in opposite direction so you can simply click on reverse direction and apply the pad length as 22 millimeters so it's already here 22 millimeters and click on ok all right next now we need to create this middle rib part okay so we can simply sketch again on back surface so select back surface select sketch now we need bi tangent lines to connect from the circle to this arc all right 
use project 3d element to project these edges first all right so select project 3d element then select circle select arc and select lines okay so the edges will be projected here now we can simply create a bitangent line between these two surfaces all right so you can see here the line is tangent to the arc at both ends again go to line types select bitangent line now select first circle and second one this arc all right similarly again select bitangent line select circle and arc all right now we need a close profile to extrude this okay so we need to first trim this outer elements all right so again we need to project this edge also okay now go to quick trim double click and you can trim the outer parts okay then again this all right next yes it's perfectly matched okay you can also check if it's closer profile or not in tools sketch analysis and you can see the curve is closed okay it curves and it's closed profile so again exit now the extrude length is given here okay it's not clearly visible so you can apply for example 15 as a pad length again reverse direction and apply 15 okay so it's perfect now all right now the next part is this circle okay so we need a horizontal or top plane for this profile all right so select xy plane or horizontal or top plane then sketch next you can see the circle radius is r12 center to center distance is 32 we need to create a simple circle here radius is given as r12 so you can simply change change it to radius and 12 okay center to center distance again center to center distance is 32 millimeters so double click and 32 millimeters okay now you can see the tangent line coinciding with this part okay so you can simply select profile start it from quadrant point you can see the tangency mark here okay select line again profile start from quadrant point and tangent and you can connect it here okay now next part we need to trim this inside circle so select quick trim and trim all right now we haven't created any hole here so you can keep any length inside okay now you can see the sketch is not fully constrained yet so select one of the lines go to constraint define in dialog box and apply vertical constraint here okay again select second line go to constraint define in dialog box and select vertical okay so now you can see the lines are vertical okay you can keep this length all right extended inside the part next exit now the total extrude length is 20 okay this two saw we will cut it afterwards all right so the extrude length is 20 and we have created the sketch on horizontal plane so we will use mirrored extend select pad mirrored extend and applied 10 millimeters here okay now it will perfectly attach next we need to create a hole here and here all right so the first hole will be 31.75 millimeters in diameter so select hole command now if you want the hole center in concentric with this surface so first select edge sorry first select hole then select edge then select face all right so the circle will be exactly at the center and you can see the concentricity constraint here all right then apply dimensions diameter is 32.75 millimeters and up to next okay you can use up to next or directly dimensions here all right and okay 
again we will create a hole here so the diameter is 6 and you can see two holes in line because the part is separated by this cut again select hole select edge first and then select surface so it will be concentric to outer circle okay the diameter is 6 and up to last okay all right so both the holes are created now we will cut this part now the thickness of this part is 2 so simply select front or back surface create sketch we can create a simple rectangle here so i'm using centered rectangle tool and like this okay the height of the rectangle will be 2 millimeters so select constraint select rectangle and 2 millimeters okay now you can constrain these ends or you can keep it like this okay just click on exit now select pocket tool and up to last so it will cut through all parts all right and okay all right most of the part is ready now the final command is fillets and you can see fillets and rounds are r3 okay means all the fillets given are of radius 3 so simply select fillet tool select the edges you want to fillet and apply 3 millimeters okay again you can see here also so select the outer edges we need to select edges only okay again top edge and bottom edge okay radius is 3 millimeters and take on ok all right you can see the final part is created okay you can see it in shading mode all right so it will look better okay if you want to apply material to it just click on apply material all right select the part first then if you want to apply any metals or paintings so i'm applying paintings here select a color you want to apply and click on apply now you need shading with material mode selected here okay so change the display mode to shading with material and you can see the material applied okay all right so in this way you can create anchor bracket in katia i hope you like the video if you like it then please go to channel comment on it and subscribe